there's that reggae groove from my arrangement of Barry Me Not on the Lone Prairie. And again, we've got the bass string tuned down to D, so-called drop D tuning. And uh, in the previous two lessons, we were looking at note duration and dynamics. So now let's add uh, some thoughts about articulating this. Uh, we're going to give a little character to the bass line. We're going to give a little character to the chords uh, to you know, create just a little more texture in this piece. And, and this is, these are subjects uh, under the general heading of articulations that you'll find in the section on texture in my Alex DeGrasse fingerstyle guitar method book. All right, well, one of the things I'm trying to do here is sound a little bit like a bass player. So if I go... So you notice I'm using a, a glissando or a slide, and I'm trying to give it kind of a slightly lazy behind the beat feel. I'm mixing short notes with sustained notes, and it gives the bass, in this case, kind of a melodic uh, character. So the textures that I'm using in addition to the gliss or the slide would be the, the staccato quality, which we discussed in the, in the mini lesson on duration, but uh, it should be thought of as a texture as well as not just creating um, shorter notes. Another thing that I do sometimes is, is fret the, uh, the notes on top of the fret, so-called fret muting. And this way you don't really need to lower the, the right hand down onto the strings. So, but you can, this is an effective technique for just damping individual notes. Now, um, the other texture that I'm using quite a bit is I, I'm also fret muting with the chords itself. So when I play this bar chord, for example, B minor 7, and I'm letting up really quickly on the strings. The combination gives a sort of uh, very dry kind of sound. Occasionally, if I let up, if I, I turn that into a harmonic, like, and usually I cut off the harmonic so it doesn't, it's kind of a damped harmonic. I'm not lifting this finger entirely off the string. So this would be another texture or articulation that is also found in my section on texture in my book. 